Hi guys! Hi. <laughs> that was like our fourth time doing this. We didn't know yeah. how to start this video. Uh, today is a quick little video for you guys. Uh, like we talked about, I think in the last video, we are going to be doing more videos surrounding the pregnancy, the baby, and just our lives in general. We are planning a full rebrand slash relaunch of our page here soon, so yeah. keep an eye out for that. But today is special for one. This is Mother's Day weekend. And Nikki, as you know, is a first time mama. So this is Nikki's well, first Mother's Day. I have been a mom for the last five years. But, what? You know. Oh, but a real mother, <laughs> not a her mother. <laughs> anyway, so this video is kind of dedicated to her and all the mothers around the world. Uh, the single moms, the awesome moms, yeah, moms. Yeah, and even the women that struggle with infertility. And... Yeah, and single dads who have to take on the role of the mother as well. So happy Mother's Day to all the mother figures yes. in the world. Anyway, <laughs> this is going to be kind of centered around that. So we, uh, this past week, we asked all of our followers on Instagram, on Facebook, and our social media for some Q&A uh, questions for Nikki and for myself regarding uh, the pregnancy so far, the baby, just our lives in general. So we have those on our phones. We're gonna read those off and just kind of answer them. It's gonna be a really easy, maybe even a shorter vlog. Um, yeah. Because a lot of the questions, a lot of people ask the same things, but yeah. uh, we're not gonna shout the names of the people asking. So if you ask them and you're watching this video, you know who you are. So yeah. Yeah, and thank you go. guys for sending in the questions. Yes, indeed, yeah. indeed. I know we haven't been uh, so dedicated to our channel, but it's still nice to see that people are still engaging and still mm -hmm. wanting to see our content. So with that being said, make sure you know, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff because like I said, we have a lot of fun stuff in store. So yeah. alrighty, without further ado, let's dive into these questions. <laughs> okay, so the first question I have here is, was the baby planned? Was the baby planned? Yes. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> it was very planned. You want to tell them a little bit about the planning? Because she did more planning than I did. Yeah, I, I did. <laughs> um, well, I, to, as you guys know, if you watched our past vlogs, he was always the one that was very baby crazy. It's true. It's true. Wanted a baby. And then I don't know where the switch happened, but... I basically turned around for a little bit where I for was like, <laughs> I want a baby right now. And he was like, I don't think the time's right now. But then I convinced him. Uh, <laughs> or yes, we started, yes, she did. <laughs> we started that whole plan where it's like, we're trying, but we're not trying. So if it happens, it happens. But in my mind, I was like, no, I'm planning everything. He just doesn't know it. Let's just say in the past, uh, when we weren't fully on the same line, because it's very important that you are in the same line. Um, we were taking cautionary me measures not to be, but I think yeah. what November last yeah. year, roughly around November, we decided to say, you know what, if God wants us to have a child, we'll have it, but we're not going to go out of our way to not, Yeah. you know, it's not like we were like until the week that we actually did, she planned, we weren't like, yeah. all right, this has to happen on this time, this happens, this <laughs> position. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I just realized, I think we both just realized that God is the one who's in control and mm -hmm. he's going to give you a baby whenever it's at the right it's time. True. You can try as much as you want. You can try how long you want. Mm -hmm. You can try to prevent, as, prevent it as much as you want. But if God wants you to have a baby, you're going to have a baby. I, so. view it, I view it like marriage too. It's not like something, I mean, obviously you can plan, but no amount of planning is going to have you fully ready. Yes. Um, you know, you can plan to have a, really nice job or be financially secure there's nothing wrong with that but there's also nothing wrong with having a child getting married taking those steps if god opens the door for them yes yes in faith especially so i, I think yeah. later on we're going to shoot another video kind of in regards to our current life and what's going on because we are walking into a lot of faith surrounding this pregnancy surrounding our lives um but yeah you have to stay tuned for that because uh yeah and we appreciate any prayer as well yeah yeah, anyway, Definitely. you want to go to the next question? Yes. Because we could talk about that in a while. Yes. <laughs> All right, uh, I have a question on here on my Instagram followers um, regarding the nursery. Uh, they said, what ideas do you have for a nursery and what color scheme are you going for? Hmm. Once again, this is something that you're most likely going to answer because I'm going to be the one that builds what she wants. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, basically my idea is kind of like, 
neutral tones, but African animals. So like burnt orange colors, um, but a lot more natural colors, like boho, mm -hmm. so boho slash African kind of style. Yeah. But also not like crazy. It will be definitely be like a minimalist. Mm -hmm. So very then, simple. Yeah, yeah, simple, boho, African. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be simpler. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be out of the decor or style of our house already. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're keeping natural house. woods, you know, baskets, green plants. And mm. uh, yeah, like she said, hobo style. Not hobo. <laughs> what is it? Boho. Boho. Same thing. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, a couple people asked that question. So that is the answer. As of now, the theme I have a is... Picture. Oh, if you she's got see a, picture? a picture. Yeah. Just kind of. Kind of like just to give you guys an idea. Okay. Well, it's not gonna focus, Hold but on. yeah. Okay, there you Ooh, go. Oh, there it is. Just kind of just like neutral. It's a very tones. simple. You know, very we're simple. not doing like a traditional pink or blue one. We have her in girl, obviously. If you yeah. haven't seen our gender reveal video, pause this, go watch that real quick because it's gonna give a little more context into some of these questions. But we're having a girl, but we're not doing like a whole crazy like pink princess Flowers. flowery. Yeah. You know. Nikki yeah. is from Africa. She's African, so it's very important that we incorporate stuff like African and animals. Culture, yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. The next question is: Will you be teaching Omas again to speak Afrikaans? <laughs> we all know who asked that question. <laughs> My mom. So she was wanting to know if we will teach our child Afrikaans. So yes. this is something you can. Uh, say, yes, yeah. I will be. Um, yeah, if you haven't be. watched our teaching Afrikaans videos, you know by now that I'm very much a professional. <laughs> and uh, I know we've been highlighting or teasing more future videos, but you're going to see that in a very future video. You're going to see that I'm very fluent now. Mm. Mm. I can body fluent, muy fluent. Mm. Yeah, mm. baya. Baya, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, uh, it is something that I want for our child, and I think it's very important for them to know or uh, for her to know uh, her culture, her My mom's language, culture. Yeah. So uh, I was joking, I won't be teaching it, obviously, but I do want Nikki to avidly teach her to be bilingual. And I think it's yeah. very critical at a young age too. Um, that's yeah. something I've always been so impressed of you, that you are bilingual, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. I can't like wrap my mind about being able to speak two languages fluently. Uh, but man, you're smart. Yeah. You're smarty pants. Thank you. So anyway, I, yes, we are absolutely going to teach our daughter. Well, Africa. she's going to teach her. Yeah. But maybe guess, I'll learn something along the way. He has to because you know to understand your daughter when she speaks. Well, I, I'm already going to establish a rule as, well, as soon as the child can comprehend it. Is that if you're speaking Afrikaans to me, I'm just going to assume you're saying something bad. So you're going to be in trouble. Because you know little girls are going to be sassy at teenagers. And then I'm going to hear, haka, haka, laka, laka, laka. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna get, she's going to be all on me. And I was like, what you say is and back I'll be, talk? I'll be laughing in the background. Then I got to go get her. I said, translate what she just said. And then she's going to say some other words. Oh my goodness. So yeah. basically my plan is to speak Afrikaans to the baby all the time. And you will speak English to the baby all the, mm -hmm. all the time. That's basically the plan on you know how we will teach her. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I'll just speak Afrikaans to her since she's born. You'll just speak English. Mm -hmm. yeah. Obviously, her being in America, I think English is going to be a little bit easier because mm -hmm. outside of the uh, being here, she's going to be exposed to like my family, our friends, so English like that. Yeah. But I think Afrikaans is going to be really cool for her to learn. Anyway, yes. next question. Mm -hmm. That was actually one of the questions I had on my list, so we're going to knock that one out as well. Mm -hmm. What is her name, and do you have any weird cravings or symptoms? So that's two questions in one. We're going to shut down the first one right off the bat because we want to keep that a surprise, kind of. Yes. Um, if you guys know us personally, you already kind of know a couple of the names that we've been bouncing around that we really like, especially one. Uh, we will say <laughs> it starts with a C, but we will say nothing more until baby C is born. Yeah, if we choose if we that. Choose that. Yeah. I told Nikki uh, that we really have to pray about it uh, and then just have confirmation. The name that we really like, we've honestly liked even when we were dating. We just kind of talked about it. So I think it's pretty good chance but you never know something could happen yeah. um so we'll leave it at that we're not telling the name if you do know the name and you're one of our followers friends that know it don't comment or anything like that don't spoil <laughs> it 
Uh, anyway, uh, the other part of the question, any weird symptoms or cravings? Yes. Okay. So I would say the number we number one weird symptom I've had that I didn't expect, you know, comes with pregnancy was how stinky I get. <laughs> like she had to switch to my deodorant. <laughs> I had to switch to his deodorant because mine wasn't doing anything for me. And like it's like once I sweat, like I might as well just go change my outfit because I'm gonna <laughs> smell like a gardener all day. So Cinco de Mayo was not too long ago, or as she likes to call it, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Okay. She, we were laying in bed and she's like, "What is this Cinco de Mayo everyone's talking about?" I was like, "What?" <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I thought Cinco de Mayo was a couple of days ago, and she, I came home from work, and she like she said she was thinking, and I was like, man, it smells like tacos. I thought we were having some Mexican food, <laughs> but that's really what it smelled like. So weird symptoms. She's stinky. Any cravings? Mm, cravings. Let's see. I mean, it's mostly most of the time it's in the moment. I would say one thing that I actually crave crave is salt and vinegar chips because that's not something I really liked before pregnancy but now it's like I could eat salt and vinegar chips all the time you know mm. I don't know why because you're supposed to crave sweet things with girls but maybe yeah I'm... but we did that whole old wives tale thing and all the old wives tale it said we were going to have a boy yeah. and now we know it's yeah. false so anyway yeah. other than that symptoms that she's experienced that I've seen uh, she doesn't think so, but she does get a little bit uh, emotional, quite a bit, uh, over different situations, uh, especially movies. She's been crying in a lot of movies, so yeah, okay. But I she's get teary eyed. She's been uh, she hasn't had too bad. Um, her first trimester is over. Uh, she had a little bit of nausea, but didn't she only threw up once? But other than that, everything's been pretty smooth. Yeah, I definitely have it easy compared to other it's like true. some of my friends that's pregnant. Oh yeah. What has been the most joyful part of this pregnancy journey so far? I'll let you ask that because that's yours. What's the jo most joyful part? I'm sorry, I'm just getting weak at his face. All right, so I screenshotted these just so I can have them. Oh, every it should focus. They have to see your face. <laughs> that's literally how all of these are. I'm just getting weak at his face. Oh, that is. That's another one. <laughs> okay. I didn't know how to, like... It, Instagram wasn't showing me the full message, so the only way I could do is click respond, so I just screenshotted it from there. <laughs> anyway, okay. Anyways. Most joyful part of your pregnancy. Most joyful part. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I guess just the fact that there's a baby growing inside of me. That's the and scary like so, part. I mean, no, the scary part is getting that baby out. But for now, it's like, you know, before I got into all of this, before I like got the baby fever... Actually, start that over. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I would say the most joyful part of it all is just knowing that my dreams are coming true. You know, like all those thoughts about being a mom and having a little a little baby. I almost said her name. <laughs> a little baby running around and like all those cute like girl videos where you dress them up. And um, I'm just very excited for all of that. So I guess... The anticipation has been the most joyful part for me. Besides knowing that I'm growing a baby inside of me and seeing like how my body is changing. Sometimes it can be a little scary, mm -hmm. but you know, it's just like, it's, it's a beautiful process and I can't wait to like start feeling her, which is really soon. Ah. Yeah. I can't wait. Cool. cool. <laughs> anyway, for you. For me, obviously the anticipation as well. I can't wait for... Uh, just to have a little girl. Can't wait to have like a little daddy's girl. I've always wanted that. Uh, do want a son, don't get me wrong, eventually. <laughs> but I'm really excited for that. But I also think one of the most joyful things is just being with Nikki during this entire process. I think our marriage has gotten really well. Um, not that it was bad. But stronger. It's gotten stronger, but I just feel closer to her. Like, you know, I feel definitely more protective, but I definitely feel more closer and more appreciative uh, for her um, we'll talk about this in the other video but Nikki's now a stay-at-home mom so I just you know I really appreciate it and she's, she's awesome so uh, <laughs> I think it's being able to see her in this environment a motherly environment outside of you know mothering her dogs is really cool and I love seeing uh, that side of her so and that brings me joy it brings me joy that I have a wife that I know is gonna take care of my future children Thank you.
You go cry? No, I'm okay. <laughs> All right, now on the opposite end, what is, uh, another question, what are you most unsure about as far as being a parent goes? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> I guess, yeah, for your finances. Finances has been a really tough one for us. Um, like I said, we're going to talk a lot about more about where we're at in life in another video, but let's just say we did take a quite a bit of financial hit this last two months, um, which is really forcing us to kind of prioritize and just look at our finances and really rely on God and have faith that he's going to come through. And I believe so. Um, he always has. He has in the past. Doesn't mean... Uh, he has in the past, so it really shouldn't be any reason of concern, but there always is that human element of, you know, fear. But yeah. finances is something that we're definitely unsure of, uh, but God's going to provide. You know, I just got my real estate license. I do believe clients are going to come through, hopefully prior to the baby being born. So fingers crossed on that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, outside of that, just, um, I don't know, I believe we're having a healthy baby i believe we're going to be good parents I, i'm not too unsure about much so mm -hmm. what about you i guess the only thing i've been like concerned about i guess is just like the way we'll discipline our child like and that's something we've kind of talked about where it's like we slightly have a difference of an opinion but not mm -hmm. really like we both know discipline is very good. It's just like the way of disciplining. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's the only part I've been unsure about really is like, because yeah. like, I don't know, through life and just seeing how kids without discipline grow up, I just know how important discipline is. And we want to do it in a right way where it's not going to be damaging to the child psychologically or anything like that. So. And that's yeah. something we'll learn when the baby's <laughs> born too. Yeah. We'll see it where our strengths are. Who's going to be the good <laughs> cop, bad cop kind of deal. No <laughs> bad <So>. cops. <laughs> and then the last question someone asked since this is a Mother's Day vlog is, what did I get Nikki for Mother's Day? Which I have. I have to go get it. Really? <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm back. Sorry, I actually left her Mother's Day gift in the car. But to start off. To my baby mama. To my baby mama. I got her a little card. So. Wow. You put a lot of effort into this. Kind of. It's like a second birthday. It's your first Mother's Day. It's special. <laughs> okay. My wife. Joy of my heart and love of my life. I didn't write that. <laughs> Do you want me to read it out loud? You don't have to. You know, yeah, you can read my part out loud. Okay. I don't know if you want to read the like pre-card stuff. Okay, he said. It's right here. Okay. Okay. I'm out of breath. <laughs> it says, Dear Nikki, thank you for being the most amazing wife. You're not only going to be an amazing mother, but also an awesome example to what a woman should be to our daughter. She is so blessed to have you as her mom. I am proud of you, and I love you so damn much. Love so your baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why is that? Kisses. Thank you. Gotcha. Am I supposed to close my eyes? Alright. And then here is your Mother's Day gift. Why is it so heavy? It's just a big one. <laughs> Ay! <laughs> no! What is it? No, you didn't! I guess you don't want it. What? <laughs> of course I want it. <laughs> but the how? Don't worry. This I was not, I had to sell my kidney for this thing. It was hard to find. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so heavy. Ugh. All right, what you got? It's something I've wanted for a very long time. Yes. But it's definitely... Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> It's not something I needed, but it's just something I really liked and wanted for a long time. But I'm so thankful. Open it up. Show them. Show what you okay, got. Okay. If you guys know what this is, it is the... I don't know. I, it won't focus, but it's the Dyson Airwrap set with the case. With the leather case. <laughs> I, really want, I really like the case, and they've been sold out for a very long they time. They have been. Wow. So. Oh my goodness. 
I'm in shock right now. But yeah, it's, it's the, the Dyson A-Rab thing. Anyway. I don't know how it works yet, but. Listen, yeah, we'll open it up and play around with it later. But I felt like I needed to get you something special for your first Mother's <laughs> Day. Don't ever worry about the price. Don't ever worry about nothing like that. So I always take care of you. I love you very much. <laughs> Thank you, baby. And, and I bought this not only for her, but also because I want my future daughter to have nice hair that doesn't burn. So that you can burn. you can do her hair with it as well. That's really thoughtful. So, anyway, yes. Thank uh, you. we're gonna end the vlog. <laughs> she had no idea this was gonna happen. I, I That's why I was hiding my phone at the end because I didn't want to snake. <laughs> I wouldn't want her to see that I didn't have that last question. He it. asked me what I wanted a couple of days ago, and I was like, if I could just have one thing, I would just have one a necklace that says mommy. Yeah. Like just it doesn't it's be true. expensive or anything. So that's what I thought I was getting. Yeah, I was throwing her off the entire night. <laughs> Even this morning, she was like. I was like, hey, you want me to go buy it sold out, but I can drive an hour away. Hint, and hint. I was like, no. Which I didn't. I've had this order for that a right while. Now. So, <laughs> anyway. Aww. So, we're going to end the vlog there. Thank you guys for asking questions. Thank you for being an amazing mother. Happy <laughs> early Mother's Day to you because it is Saturday. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, baby. So. Thank you. <laughs> All righty. Make sure you guys <laughs> like, subscribe. You want to show them your gift one last time? Shit, sure. it's a little heavy, but there it is. All of that. I need to figure out how it works. Yeah, it looks too fancy. It just looks like a little mini vacuum. So, <laughs> anyway, cool, cool. We love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos. Yeah, I'm like so happy. I keep wanting to like hug him. <laughs> All right. But yeah, thank you guys cool, so cool. much. Adios.